and a half years and cost taxpayers $28 million. But today, the LegCo subcommittee, tasked with looking into the Lehman Brothers minibond controversy, finally unveiled its 360-page report, saying what went wrong and who should shoulder the blame. The 16-member panel found that misleading tactics by banks, poor regulation and the government's failure to take suitable action led to the fiasco. Around $20 billion worth of Lehman Brothers structured products were sold to more than 43,000 small investors. These products, also known as mini bonds, became worthless when the giant Wall Street investment bank collapsed in 2008, prompting angry Hong Kong investors to take to the streets to demand their money back. The report laid the blame squarely on former Monetary Authority Chief Joe Joseph Yam. As Hong Kong's top banker, one of his tasks was to regulate banks and their activities. The LegCo investigators declared that Yam should take ultimate responsibility for the authority's failure to detect and rectify serious problems at an early stage in the mis-selling of financial products made available for public investment. So that's why in the, in the report we say that uh, Joseph Yam, uh, the, uh, the monetary authority or the CEO of the uh, Hong, Hong Kong or the Hong Kong MA, uh, should have borne a uh, greater responsibility or the, the ultimate responsibility because uh, a lot of the evidence uh, they should have spotted uh, in earlier days uh, to issue warnings or to, uh, to uh, carry out uh, not only the, uh, the checking of the forces uh, that the, the, the uh, operators or the, uh, the staff of the banks uh, in, at the point of sale and also whether or not they have complied with all the uh, rules and procedures set down by the uh, SFC. The report noted that the SFC, the Securities and Futures Commission, is responsible for approving financial products for public distribution, but does not have the power to oversee the regulated activities of banks on a day-to-day -day basis, unlike the Monetary Authority. However, that didn't stop the subcommittee from being greatly disappointed with former SFC Chief Executive Martin Wheatley for not enacting suitable legislation earlier to effectively regulate financial products sold to small investors. The panel also expressed expressed disappointment with Financial Secretary John Zung and Financial Services Secretary Chan Ka Kung, as they were the top government officials overseeing the regulators and they did not take the initiative to review the regulatory regime, thereby allowing existing weaknesses to remain unaddressed. The report put forward a number of recommendations for the government to consider. These include strengthening supervision of banks and setting benchmarks to achieve consistency when vetting the suitability of investment products for public distribution. It also called on the government to play a proactive role and review the regulatory regime from time to time and suggested